Today on Toy Shiz, a two-pack power punch, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. And today we're totally checking out their brand new two-pack featuring Batman Earth Negative One and Superman, otherwise known as the Devastator, not Doomsday. It's clearly Devastator. Hey, that Superman looks familiar. Doesn't he look like the Sunsoft Sega Genesis Superman? That's I'm this is the Sunsoft Superman to me. Love that face portrait on him. Side of the box, it's actually a ginormous box, by the way. Very heavy box all the usual dc multiverse goodies front and back excellent photography on the back huh right that's a nice looking photo and then you get the barcode these are starting to hit target stores now if you are in the business of getting dc multiverse figures and you need a new two-pack maybe we'll look at it we'll give you the lowdown if you need this two-pack because these are two figures we have gotten prior but they have new deco, new head portrait, things of that nature. But let's see how they stack up when we have them next to one another. So sit back, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Earth Batman Negative One, the Devastator versus Superman 2-Pack. And here's Superman and the Devastator out of the packaging fighting one another and Despite not having a flight stand, let's say that's something that's missing. There's a couple of things that I really wish would have been packed in. But the look of these two characters going at it, yes, they are going for more of that classic Superman versus Doomsday sort of battle. Even the little display stand, I guess you could call it that. We'll also talk about that in just a few but you can get a lot of cool dynamic poses, them killing each other, going to town, punching that guy, doing all that kind of stuff. So it really works in the sense of a really nice diorama if you don't have either of these figures. Plus, I think for you photographers out there, you're going to get a nice shot or two, I'm sure. But let's talk about Devastator, Bruce Wayne, part of the Dark Knights death metal roundup. This is a much better paint job than the original released Devastator. He's a lot more naturalistic looking. I think the paint, the colors flow better. Now, I really like the first version, but having this one in hand, I'm like, yeah, okay, I can definitely see the difference all around. A lot more shading to it. This is the kind of paint job that I expect to see from Todd McFarlane with these types. Having dealt with Spawn for years and years and years, this is very cool. They even put like this gooey wash over him. He looks wet in some instances, very texturized. The mouth still opens and closes with the tongue articulation. <laughs> totally forgot to mention that in my first video when I did Devastator last time. But if you look at them together, you can see the details, the differences. This new Devastator just has a better palette going on whereas the first release doesn't really mesh well now with the other grays and the dark grays and everything else it just looks better that's that's really the half of it you can talk about the what's different all day here and there i mean even the eyes the eyes are great very much like a glowing sort of red where the original one were very muted so in that sense the new one is the more superior devastator and you put him next to the other big big figures so far for the dc multiverse he's the smallest bane and the merciless are still taller and you know while we got bane out let's just revisit this yeah there you go Ooh, that spin right there uh-huh yeah remember that moving on to the stand now this it's a great pack in. It's one of those things where I'm glad it's there, but it also really doesn't have a function to it. You know, it's kind of an afterthought. It's very hollow. It's very light, but it is painted well. There is a hole on the side. It looks like a flag. You, I kind of thought immediately that you could put a flag in there with the Superman cape billowing off, like in the comic books, you know, when he goes up against Doomsday. You can put the Devastator on it. There's one peg. It fits in it doesn't he kind of looks like he's surfing 
You can make it so that he's beating down Superman. That's with the big blast in the middle of the ground. The only thing I can really say about this is one, I'm glad it's there. Two, yeah, it's not a bad display base. But three, it's kind of like one of those afterthought kind of things where it doesn't really fit. Especially when you look at the Flash Red Death two pack pack in one. Again, totally random. Doesn't really do much and doesn't really support the figures with anything. With the Superman, however, again, this, one of my favorite Supermans that have been made next to the NECA one. I love the face sculpt on this guy. I am glad they gave him a different one. This is very cool. It's nice to see superheroes getting PO'd. That's something that Marvel Legends don't do all that much. They'll always do a very vanilla type look where this Superman looks angry. The cape is very nice on him. Same body type, same everything. So that's why we're not talking the articulation. If you want to talk articulation, you can see my other videos, but I'll tell you right now, they both articulate very, very well. The hands on this Superman are the problem. Why not a pair of hands where you have two fisted and two weapon or throat grabbing hands or something like that? When you look at him compared to the first release of Superman 1000 from the very first wave of McFarlane toys when he took over, this, these are two great looking head sculpts. I have no problem with either one. So in that sense, yeah, either Superman's great, but the hands for the original one are more in the flying pose. The hands are there. Why not more hands, right? So then I thought, okay, what if I get out the Red Sun Superman? Then they look good together. He comes with a bunch of extra hands. But there's no other extra fisted hands, so you can't, you don't have two fisted punching hands. That's the thing. Why not? Why, why didn't we get that in the, come on, let's give Superman, give Superman multiple hands. We'll just say that. And here he is next to the recent death metal Superman, and you can see the differences, right? The face sculpt, I did a video on him recently. I don't care for the head sculpt on this one. The head sculpt is there, but it's just not executed well with the paint, nor the hair. But I thought this was kind of a cool thing. I, I really like that. It's a very 90s Superman. That's what I love about the head sculpt. It's a very 90s, minus the mullet, of course. It's a mullet. It is. It's a mullet. Just leave it alone. And just to kind of see them paired up with one another, here is the NECA Toys Superman versus Alien versus Predator that they did a few, what, a few years back now for the Comic-Con exclusive. I really like this Superman still. I still think that the body type, the cloth cape, is better than this McFarlane one. However, I like this new McFarlane head portrait. I think that that looks awesome, and again, just has that charm of the 90s. Multiply the hands and everything else. Yeah, you can do Superman poses. Uh, he just really needed a flight stand, too. You can use another one of your flight stands, but you kind of have to piecemeal him together to kind of get the ideal looking Superman. So it's up to whether or not you want to do it, but I can tell you right now, it's a great Superman. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at this brand new two pack featuring Batman Earth Negative One, the Devastator versus Superman, a more classic Superman. And overall, if you don't, let's say this, if you don't have either of these two figures, then this is a great set for you. If you think about it in the sense of the characters mashing up, it's Devastator Superman. It should have been more of a rebirth costume for Superman. So it's off in that sense. Superman totally should have had extra hands, punching fisted hands, and a flight stand, right? I think I would have preferred a flight stand over this craggy, rocky terrain kind of thing that really, it's nice to kind of put it there, but then it really doesn't do much. Why not a stand within the stand to hold Superman up? You can't really stand him on that more jagged rock. It, it's just, it's all over the place in that sense. The Devastator is great, superior paint job. That's what I want to see from McFarlane Toys. And I absolutely love the look of the 90s, the Sega Genesis Sunsoft Superman face, like the old comics, hands down, knockout, great Superman minus the whole hand, extra hand situation. But I am curious to know what you guys think about the set. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. Make it a super, super weekend. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.